Tresare. We're today, we're jumping into Vikings, season 5, episode 12. The title of this episode is called Murder Most Foul. So, I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. A couple of times now, it seems for me that the episodes aren't hitting as they used to hit. And this is just me being an honest reactor because that's what I do. Um, but I don't know. For the past maybe two or three episodes, I've been, I still like it, but something about it, I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I just been pulled out a lot because maybe the choices and the characters just kind of changing. Um, like I just find it for instance, um, the bishop, you know, he hated Vikings, and now all I do know that women are his weakness, but it just seems, or maybe because they're trying to tell a story and they're trying to get through it very quickly, but it just seems like one minute he was, you know, about killing Vikings, and then he met Lagatha, and now he's like about helping them and the whole crew. So I don't know. But now that they went back to England, and at the time I didn't even realize that, um, that Mr. B is going back to the same place that he just was where he killed the grandfather. So this is going to be kind of interesting because they're screaming murder at him. And I don't know, I feel like we're about to get real, real dark. Um, Ivar is now the king of Katakut. And I heard what you guys said in the comments where King Harold didn't want to be the king of Katakuts. He wanted to be the king of all Norway. But he did go to attack Katakut. Am I miss I'm probably mispronouncing the word. Um, before Ivar. And he would have been king of that place anyway. So was he planning to attack that place? Then keep attacking, attacking, attacking. So that only he ruled? Is that what he, his plan and motives were? If so, eh. Um, but I guess Ivar is now king, and so what does that make King Harold? Maybe we'll find out. Um, that crazy lady, she's with, uh, Ivar's uh, brother, Hitf Hitzford, whatever. And then we have that boring storyline with Floki, and I'm very happy that a subscriber actually said that it bored them as well when they watched it, because, honey, I'm bored. Um, I don't, like, it's gotten to the point where, like, I don't even care. Kill him, don't kill him. Like, give me something so I can show some type of emotion, because every time they come on, I'm like, here we go again, the annoying characters. So I think that, I think that for overall, I think everybody's annoying me, and maybe that's the problem that I'm having thus far in the past three episodes is that a lot of people are just, even Ivar started to irritate me because he's just so angry. But I do understand the storyline. The only person that isn't annoying me is the seer, because he's not even there, so I don't even have an opinion. But also that girl, Fre the girl whose name sounds like Freya. I actually really like her, although she kind of reminds me of a creepy crawler. But I actually like seeing her on the screen. But besides that, I think pretty much everybody is irritating me. Um, you guys also did let me know about Rolo and what his motives were, because I was completely confused. But when you guys broke it down for me in the last episode, it kind of made more sense to me. Um, he, he wanted Lagatha and he wanted Mr. B to pretty much be with him, I guess is what you guys were telling me. And the best way and best method was them needing his help and helping Ivar to take over. But they, Ivar could have killed Lagatha, but he only seemed like he wanted Mr. B to be safe. So, regardless, Rolo now is going back to Frankia, and he made a pact with um, Ivar to sell. I don't think that's going to work. I don't think Ivar is going to keep wanting to help uh, Rolo, and I just feel like it's going to be turmoil thus far. Maybe, maybe Rolo and Lagatha will get together to fight Ivar. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. But there's only one way for me to find out if I'm right or wrong, and that's jumping into this reaction. But before you guys see this reaction, can you please hit that like button, because I know you're gonna like it. And please share this content, because it really does a lot for this channel. Now, if you guys haven't joined the channel, you can hit that join button if you feel like it to help support this channel. If not, thank you for thinking about it. With that being said, guys, let's jump into a Vikings and find out exactly what Ragnar Lothbrok's kids, <laughs> I messed that up, has got 
to give. That's kind of cute. Kids. at York. He has lived among pagans. Do you suppose he has changed? Uh-oh. You were taken captive? Yes. I fought in the great war between the sons of Ragnar. Yep. I came here with Ragnar Lothbrook. I played games with him when I was a boy. He did. Sire. Why have they come here? I offered them safe passage. Oh, King Alfred. Look at us! I have no fear of death. Oh, Tofi. How else was he going to get home? He needed a ship. He needed a crew. Facts. Imagine how famous King Alfred will be when he shows the Saxons our heads. Uh. We gave it to him on a plate. <laughs> and I cannot believe the famous Lagatha has proved to be a fool for love. Oh. This is where Ragnar was imprisoned and betrayed. And now we will all die here too. I think you guys are safe. We have one more season. Then you might all die. To Bishop Haircomand, scourge of the Vikings and man of God. Ah. Oh. Ooh, there we go. King Alfred, like, kind of scary. Here comes the boring storyline. <laughs> what good can I do for these people? I've tried so hard to make them see. Mm. Why don't you show yourself to me as you used to? Because you were hallucinating before. Perhaps you never did. Two seconds of that storyline, the writers were like, okay, we're done. <laughs> uh, I'm not foolish enough not to recognize your potential for my kingdom. If you were willing to fight with us against the armies of your countrymen. You don't have a choice. I have every intention of honoring my grandfather's pledges. But first, you must demonstrate your worth and your loyalty to our cause. Right. So... As long as we are allies and friends, you are free to use the royal villa as you wish. What? I believe you have two young children with you. Let us have a care for them also. Wow, King uh, Alfred is the man! <laughs> can I trust them? You can yes. trust Lagatha. I like how he made that clear. I would like my bishopric back. I wish to be Bishop Herkman of Sherbin once more. Ooh. The king felt obliged to appoint a replacement as bishop. Ah. Oh. And who did you appoint? Uh -oh. Lord Cuthred. <laughs> Cuthred? There's no churchman. But he is a supporter of our regime. Oops. So you can pronounce his appointment invalid. <laughs> but unfortunately, I'm not yet strong enough to remove him, especially in your favor. Right. Kill him. Everyone knows by now that you did not die fighting the pagans. Uh-huh. Defender of Christendom fighting, not in the name of our Lord, but in the name of pagan gods. Oh. Christ's warrior on earth. And I fight for him. Yes. For whomever he chooses. I believe you. But alas, there are many who don't. Oh. Steve. Her name is Freitis, and soon you will all know her as your new queen of Kataka. Oh! Takes a wife, produces an heir, and in his eyes, Kataka is his forever. Much. He can't produce children. He is boneless. Oops! Uh-oh. May the gods smile on your happiness. I think it's your bedtime, Vitek. Ah. You insult the gods. What? What? The gods love me. You know that. Ah. Why is he so angry? You know I can't. You can do anything. Oh. To me, you are a god. Above all men. Okay. And I will have your child. Um. The gods never had children with humans. Huh. That son was Vala, who killed Hod, revenge for the murder of Baldur. Who? You are a god. All you have to do is believe. Oops! By your blood, I will bear you a child. Um. The embodiment of my love will always be by your side. War and in time. Treachery. Treachery? 
This girl's a sicko and a vampire. <laughs> My Lord Egmont, brother in Christ. Ooh. Oh. I never thought her ambitions were fixed upon our holy church. Um. But like St. Paul on the road to Damascus, I too was struck by lightning. What? If you would lie down on a burning griddle, or castrate yourself, or pluck out your eye, uh -oh. cannot help but think your ambitions are more worldly and less sacred. Oops. I struggle with the devil in the desert as our Lord did. Okay, Eggman. You like being a prince of the church because of these fine robes. Oh. Uh. And the power. And if I have that power, do you suppose I would willingly renounce it? Oh. Uh. And should step aside before the Lord finds you out. Uh oh! Contrary, I believe I and others who share my opinion are doing the Lord's work and protecting the church against the attacks of our new king. What? Dangerous outcome for all of us who believe in our holy Catholic church and the future of our country. Ooh. Others would seek Alfred's overthrow. I did not say so. <laughs> Uh-oh. Our interview is over. I'm sorry your journey here was fruitless. I am Bishop of Sherborne and will remain so. So that's why he's there and he's probably working with the brother. Everyone here wants to pretend that Dolgan's death was an accident. This is no accident. You killed him. Um. But if you ever speak this way to me again, this community will lose another good boy. No. I hate the haircuts. You think that I was lying? That I was lying to entice you all to come here for my own selfish reason? Mm. What if I never saw the gods? Oh, goodness. Perhaps I'm just a crazy old fool after all. <laughs> crying? I've never seen him cry like this. Two more seconds and then they're out that storyline. <laughs> She's sleeping with a random because she couldn't get with Ivar? Where have you been? No. Uh. What is wrong? They want to kill him. Who do they want to kill? They want to kill Alfred. Oh, uh, I bet you, the brother. Who the Princess are these Elspeth. people? My lady. Um. May I introduce you to my eldest son, Prince? He saw it. My lord. Oh, that's right. She's trying to find the wife. If you recall, I said you would have to prove your value to us first. We don't have to prove anything. What you do? My grandfather had no authority to grant you any land. Right. You are the king. So you can sell it over to us, and you can grant us those lands right now. Do they know that it, their lives just got saved? You don't want me to grant lands to those who in the past have attacked and raided us. Right. I'm being more honest with you than you've any right to expect. You have thrown yourself upon my mercy. Right. In the meantime, I must go and meet my future wife. I guess they think that they could do whatever they want to do. May I introduce my niece, Princess Elspeth? Princess. They're going to do something stupid. So you are Manel's daughter? Yes. I remember Manel before the gates of York. Oh, Manel. He sacrificed himself for us. But are these not Northmen? Here at your court. Be on eye inside. I have heard tales of him. <laughs> the Archbishop of Canterbury summoned the Holy Synod. What for? To discuss your attacks on the church and your harboring of pagans in the royal villa. Ooh. Not the only voices raised against you. Uh oh. Ah. <laughs> I am curious to see a woman fighting equally with a man. <laughs> Only these horrid pagans, worshippers of the devil, would allow it. <laughs> Sons of Ragnar, who most violently put to death both King Ayla and King Egbert. Uh. This is bad. You asked to see me. <laughs> Sit. Some wine. Oh God. What happened? Time being, it is not easy for me to grant you those lands again. Many are against it. Right. You could publicly renounce your pagan gods and be baptized as a Christian. Ooh. I'm not talking about Björn, but about you. Oh, God. 
to the sit and drink some wine. <laughs> Ragnar talked to me when I was a boy. He talked about your people, my people, sharing the land. Uh. All his sons, you are the closest to him. Uh. But he no longer believed in your gods. Boo. My grandfather told me everything. He wanted to prepare me for times such as this. Yep. Your father's death broke him, destroyed him. Yep. I want your time. King Alfred, I'm kind of nervous for you. Have you nothing to say to your wife-to-be? <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't apologize to me. At least pretend to be interested. Girl, you know how much she has on this plate? I refuse to let you feel sorry for yourself. You are a king. Uh. Stop behaving like one. Oh, well, her character changed. What? I am with a child. What? With your child, Ivor. Oh. I love you. Oh. I love you. Hopefully he doesn't find out the truth. <laughs> what? What? Woo! You better kill that bit. Girl, she didn't even do anything. <laughs> I'm calling her out on it. What are you going to do with her? Hmm? Margaret? Yeah. She's going to kill all of us. Don't worry, Ivor. She won't kill you. Yes, she will. Why are you still here? Hmm? Uh-oh. Make yourself king of Cadicat. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to, yeah. The mess. Uh -huh. I have made new plans on raiding England. All the others are raiding there. Um. It's already with child. That business doesn't always work out so well. Ciao! I feel like Hipster is gonna die soon. Did he put her in this cabin? There's always a cabin. Is this the cabin where uh, Ragnar was? With the uh, Asian girl? What's going on? I saw her. The queen of Kattegat. Afraid this, I saw her. Okay. Not have children. Not with anyone. Oh. He ignored me and betrayed me with that bitch trophy. Oh. In the end, he will kill you. So the only choice, my love, is to kill him first. Oh. If you kill Ifa, then I will be queen. And everything will be all right. Girl, you dead. Sleep, sweet Margaret. I'll see you soon. He's gonna light that shit on fire while she's in, the, in there. God in the deep water. She feel bad for her now. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, it's the one-eyed man. Guys, somebody's watching you. This guy is a peeping Tom. Bishop Hadman is gonna be in trouble. Do you want to marry me? I, I hardly know. Huh. For the moment. I know. You have more important things to do. She's like, he's gay. <laughs> he is not kind. Leave me alone. I can have my own thoughts. Yeah, who are you? Is that the father? What is he? Oh wait, her father died. Great. Here goes Mr. B. You're Bjorn Ironside. I am. Go away. <laughs> She told him, go away. She's gonna sleep with him. This is crazy. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. And then fornicating together. Yes, your grace. Yes. Better for all of us, he understands that he can never again be prince of the church. Wow. I'm a virgin. Oh, goodness. Uh, Margaret is going to die right about now. Why don't you go away? Girl. <laughs> oh. It's not worth killing me. I'm harmless. No, girl. Damn. Rather than observe your vows of celibacy, you fornicate almost daily. Oh! And so it appears with a pagan woman. 
Thus Oops. your sins are multiplied. Oops! Domine Jesu Christi Panis Angel, Panis Viva Satane. You got that quick. You know, we must show respect in this most sacred of all places. Ha <laughs> ha! You have forced me by your hypocrisy, by your danger, to my king. Ha <laughs> ha! Do not damn yourself. You are a most troublesome priest. Uh oh. You thought you could beat him? Not on no, all these grabs! Not on the table! The world will end! Oh, just show up! Oh my goodness! What are we gonna do now? You killed the bishop! Bishop? Hey, so this isn't good for him. Well, well. So, um, I think that Bishop Haveman is going to die soon because he just killed a bishop and there was witnesses and thank God they didn't have fingerprints back then because he left his knife. Um, uh, Mr. B is being Mr. B. Guys, please comment down below who actually likes that character because I don't. Um, and I don't think I ever did, to tell you the honest truth. I think that I've always disliked that character, even when he was a child, no shade, no tea. So, um, but this episode was much better than the last few episodes. I actually enjoyed this episode thoroughly. And I'm in a, like, an actual seat. Like, I, I'm sitting upright. I am upright with this episode. So, there is that. Um, King Alfred, I'm really liking him, but I'm really nervous for him. I'm thinking, like, he's, people are coming after him at all angles, at all territories. His soon-to-be wife is sleeping with Mr. B, because Mr. B is just ridiculous. Once again, the Floki storyline. I don't think the writers knew what to do with Floki. So we just got him a couple of seconds going, you know, crying that the gods aren't there. Um, I could have told him that when the volcano was erupting every two seconds. I was like, run! But he was like, stay! So there's that. And then you got the people fighting each other. Like, I don't care. So um, moving on, we also got Margaret. She died by the end of the, her storyline. I actually felt really bad for her. She was dreadful before, but to see the way she died was really, really sad. Lagatha is actually, I actually like Lagatha, guys. I understand that a lot of people didn't like Lagatha and started to dislike the character after she killed Aslog. You know, sorry. I mean, I like her. And in this, you can see that she's trying to do what it's needed to do to save everybody. But everybody doesn't want to be saved. Um, Uber, which reminds me, I have to get on the Uber. Um, he, you know, I think he might renounce his gods. I don't know where King Alfred said that Uber was the closest one to Ragnar, because I didn't think that was true. But I do see that, like, they were cool or whatever. But I think the closest son to Ragnar was Mr. B. After Mr. B, I guess you could say it's Uber because Ivar was more with Aslog and then you have the other two kids and they're just whatever. So do you guys believe when you saw this episode, was it Heshkrik that planted to kill um, Margaret or was it Ivar? I think the story, I think the show wanted us at this moment to figure out which one or debate which one was the reason for her death. I'm leaning towards Hyvar, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was Ivar, and then that's gonna start a situation with Hyvar and also Ivar. But I think Ivar wanted to get it, get him killed. So also is, um, I'm gonna call her Daenerys. I don't know why, but she's really pregnant. Is it because she slept with that random man? I hope that Ivar doesn't find out, child, because if he finds out now, child, that child is gonna die along with this lady. And I actually like this character, so um, I hope, hope the best for her moving on with this show. So overall, I'm really, I'm really happy about this episode. This episode turns, it, you know, it went back to how I kind of liked it. Um, we have a little bit more to go for me to be like fully established. Let's get rid of this Floki storyline and let's turn up the heat. And I feel like we're going to be doing that because we're getting closer and closer to the ending of season five. And then we have one more season and we are done. I can't believe it. But now I'm going to do this outro that you guys love so much. With lappies and guys. And you see this reaction and realize you are not subscribed. 
subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Also, please like and share this content because it does wonders for the channel. And I'll see you all next time on Andres El Rey. Ciao.